Hi and welcome to MTech Digital. This is a learning video on the basics of WordPress and I'm taking the approach that you are a brand new user. This is a brand new install. There's almost nothing on your website. And in the previous video, I was just beginning to introduce how to set your home page. And here's my demo site. You can see my home page is all beginning to take shape. Um, the only thing I did was set it and I created a title and the first semblance of content on my website. Uh, as I begin the process of developing this site, you know, I'm going to want to do more with it. And part of that might be that I really hate this theme that I have going. Uh, it doesn't look the way I want, or maybe I want to see what I could do with it. So what are the settings? What are, where do I find those kinds of settings to like, say, change this background image? Well, in every WordPress website, if you have a, a more sophisticated theme, you'll probably see on the side menu some options for editing that particular theme. In this case, I have a very, very basic web, uh, web theme or WordPress theme installed. So there's nothing that appears on the side menu. But there's this thing called appearance that is in your left menu. And that's where you can begin to customize. And you'll see this option here. So a lot of the most more basic themes, you'll find the ability to customize right here. And you can see it depends on the theme. This will change from theme to theme, but you'll see, you know, various, in this case, I can change, say the site identity. Oh, I can put a logo here. So I might find a logo that's a file that exists on, on my site uh, that I want to, you know, be featured. Maybe I have a business name or a, a whatever it is you you can upload your logo here and if i select logo i press that and it'll bring me into my library of images that have been uploaded to my my media library so right here if i had any images uploaded they would appear here or i can upload something fresh and new and that's where i could drop drag or drop a file onto this window or i could select a file from my uh, any folder on my hard drive and I would be able to upload it and we would be good to go. Of course, there's ideal file sizes and types. Perhaps we can get into that some other time, but uh, that's where you begin to do this. What else might I want to do? I might want to change the, the name of, so demo one is kind of a lame name, but in our case, that's exactly what this site is for. Um, but I might not want it to show up. So if I click this, you notice it was here and now it's gone. So that's an example of what this particular theme and how it behaves. Um, site icon. This is called a fav icon. This is something that will display, you know, if, if you're ever on a website and you notice there's a little icon that appears beside the name of the website you're on, it's on the tab. That's called a fav icon, your site icon. And that's where you can upload a little graphic and it, it gives you the specs here. Thankfully, it says, well, it should be at least 512 pixels wide and tall. So you'll find a graphic just like that with those specs, it should be square, and you'll upload it here and you'll begin to see it will show up up here. And that's what you, you want. So that's, that's the site identity. What else can we change here? Okay, so we see there's um, this theme has these options. So I, I can have a, a light color scheme. What happens if I click dark? What happens? Oh, so light, it's white. Oh, dark. Oh, custom. So this allows me to play around a little bit with, you know, maybe a, a color setting of some kind. So um, doesn't seem to be doing it. Oh, it's, so it's not changing the background. But do you notice down here, I want you to look at this right here. I notice it's changing the color of the, the hyperlink. So what this custom appears to be doing is it's changing the highlight color. So that's what, what um, often you'll see is there's a highlight color that is kind of the color theme that goes with your site. Um, the accents, the titles maybe, maybe it's the hyperlinks, it's little things that are accented around. So that's what this theme does. Uh, there's header text. So um, it, it was set to a default color. Now I want it to be red. Oh, so you see it changes here. So these are the things you need to pay attention to as you're exploring a template. You're just saying, do I like this theme? Does it, is it going to give me what I want? 
for somebody who's a new user to WordPress, you're kind of stuck with what these tools offer you. Um, if you're a little bit more experienced, you can go in, you can begin to do something. You look down here, it says additional CSS. CSS is where you begin to manipulate and code uh, your own preferences. And you do have to know how to do coding. And that's where somebody like myself as a designer would begin to see what I can do to change some of the things on the site. The average user is not going to be able to do that. So you're stuck looking at these things. So um, theme options, what are some of the, oh, it's, so it's giving me, so what I'm seeing here is it's giving me the option to edit this region here, which is, oh, so if I look, it says front page section one, I can look here, it says front page section one holder. So I can add maybe some images, um, I can add, Oh, so it's allowing me to add a new page here. Oh, so if I go and I create a new page, the content on that page will show up in this section here. So that's how these themes work. You have to kind of break them down and look at, so this is allowing me a one column. This is allowing me a two column. There's, oh, so if I hit one column, it, it places it kind of in this middle area. If I do two column, obviously it's, shifting part of the content here and part of the content here. That's how themes work. They have settings and, and you have to play with them to figure out, do I like it or don't I like it? Menus, you can, there's all the settings in here to manipulate. Um, we were looking at that main graphic. I wanna see where I can find how to change that. And I don't even, so header media, okay. Ah, here, so right now it's currently set to this. And I don't know if I have a, a, a different image that I could upload, I would do so. Um, maybe I wanna hide that image. Oh, it allows me to turn it off. Okay, so <laughs> can I turn it back on is the question. Well, you notice that any change that I make here, I mean, it looks like it's taking effect, but it actually won't unless I hit this button here, save and publish. So that's very important to note. As you're working in WordPress, usually when you leave a page, you're gonna to want to hit this save and publish button in order to make it take effect. So whether you're editing a post or a page, always look for a save button before you switch to a different area. It's uh, very important because you'll lose things that you do if you don't. Um, uh, okay, so it allowed me to bring that back. There's a randomized suggested headers. What does that mean? Well, if I suppose if I had more images that I added, it would allow me to switch up, randomly switch up those things. All of this to show that when you're picking a theme and you have one installed, you wanna play with it. You wanna see what it can do. And as you're beginning, especially when you're beginning the process of developing your website, it's, an, it's a bit of a trial and error thing, making sure that the theme that you have installed is attractive, is usable, will provide you with the options that you want to build the exact website that you like. Personally, this this theme would drive me nuts because it's it looks very limited and it's forcing me into you know what I can do, where I can do it. I don't like this. I would go and look for something more appealing for myself. So here I didn't save it. Uh, thankfully, WordPress does do this quite often. It'll ask you, did you do you really want to leave? because you might not have saved this. And in my case, I did not. So I'm going to leave this page and it's gonna take me back to my dashboard where I can do other things. That's a bit of an overview on playing with the appearance and the customization of a theme. I'm gonna play with other themes and I'm gonna show you the difference. And it probably will help you to understand like the differences when you install a different theme, what that might introduce you as options it really pays to look for themes and you notice here it says themes and these are the ones that are currently installed. There's tons and tons and tons of themes that you can find that do different things. Some of them look better than others. Some of them work better than others. It, it really pays to look around. So that's my little talk about uh, looking for a theme or customizing a theme and playing around. Thanks a lot and we'll talk to you next time.